Well, a very early good morning to you. And when I say early, I mean four minutes past five. Really early start, but that's because today I'm doing something that I've never done before. So if you follow our channel, you may remember back in, I think it was January or February time, we had some really good fun perch fishing on lures. And actually we got rescued by a good mate, Ben, and he helped us catch a few nice perch at the end. Well, on that session, he did mention that when it gets to the summertime, there's some good chub fishing to be had. And it's not something I've never done before. I've never caught a chub on a lure. So that is exactly what we're out today. Ben is joining us and just behind me is our first swim. Now, because this is quite opportunity fishing, small little areas, we're going to take it in turns and he's kindly offered to let me go first. So I've slipped on the little bug. So hopefully that's going to do the job. I'm going to get down there and see if this early morning start is worth it. Right. Well, that's the first opportunity missed. They're so tight, these little swims. A couple of casts in there, it's come up and smashed it on the surface, and I don't know if it was me being a bit too eager, but no hookup. So rest this now, move on to the next one. You can probably see these swims are tiny, clambering through, stinging nettles that are pretty much as tall as me, but <sighs> one go, we can get another shot at it, even better. Come up and absolutely <laughs> smash that. You said you see some fish there. To be fair, Ben, I'm going to give you credit for that one because you said. Well, it you did the hard work. I'll come, <laughs> in, I'll come in and net it for you. Go on, mate. You can be gilly. Don't knock my first ever one off, though. <laughs> nice that fish. Well, I'm a heart little to have a bit of a stop there <laughs> when it hit it. I was like, wasn't sure what happened. And there you go. Hey. Well done, mate. First one on the lure. Well done. It's a nice fish. That's a nice well. fish, yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. My first ever chub on a lure. And I was kind of saying, what are the takes going to be like? Well, there's no messing. They absolutely smash it. This one came up and engulfed it. And then the brief seconds after that, I didn't really know what happened until it slipped in the net. But what a beautiful fish. Loads of, a lot of bronze color. And if I just spin around a bit, a little orange mark just under here. So I'd certainly recognize if we came back in the future, if we caught him again. But I'm not going to keep him out too long. And I've only fished about three or four swims, so I could probably fish another 12, but I better let Ben have a go. So we'll get this one back in the water and see if he can catch one. Well, it's not even six o'clock, and I can no longer say I've never caught a chub on a lure. He's not gonna take much encouragement to go back either. the uh, expert give it a go now. <laughs> Just going to drift down. Oh, bolt in there. 
see it now. I speak, aren't they? Yep, there we go. Oh, walking in the tree. <laughs> And I saw him and I just placed that little lure in front of him and a couple of seconds after he saw it, he came in and smashed it. So I know. There we go. Look at that. Cheers mate. Nice. <laughs> oh brilliant. I love that again. Yeah, it's lightly hooked I think. Brilliant. I knew you'd show me up. What was that, your second cast? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Classic, a bit of experience paid. But yeah, like, just saw a fish, didn't you? Cast yeah. straight to it. Yeah, he was sitting at the back of the pool, cast a little bug to it, just inched it in front of his nose, and he, he folded it for a couple of seconds and, and smashed it. It takes, and it? you see these massive white lips come up, and it's a, uh, yeah, if you were a little bug, that would be the end for you. It would be indeed. Just getting back. Lovely. Well, we could see a few fish just in this little shallow rump. I think our presence being here and a bit of talking, they might have just pushed under that bush. So it's worth a try anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flick out there and see. You never know. Really surprising how camouflaged they are. You think you'd see them really easily, but they are quite hard to spot. Nothing on that one. We're literally only giving it like two or three casts per swim. The, the one I missed, the one I had and the one that Ben had all come in the first two casts. So it's, it's pointless sitting somewhere for, you know, 15 minutes flogging it away because if they're there, They'll grab it when it hits the water, that hit that plop, and they come out and smash it. I think we might have spooked these ones. But let's have a look at a different spot. Well, not a bad start to the session, is it? I must say with chub fishing, it's quite limited time. So we got up ridiculously early, like I said. Probably as soon as this sun breaks, our chances will start going down by the minute. So it's nice and important to get out early and get fishing but we've got a couple of hours left yet so we'll just quickly talk you through the tackle that we're using now obviously you're holding it all the while so it needs to be quite nice and light but my rod i use it for pretty much all my lure fishing it's a little medium spin in a 5 to 21 gram you know it's just heavy enough and stable enough to pull these fish out of snags because they are quite small little swims but it's nice and light so you're not going to rip any hooks out or anything like that small little reel loaded with 10 pound braid and then because we're sight fishing, you would have seen most of the fish we're casting to. There's not many pike in here. We've got a little fluorocarbon trace. And then the one that's done the damage so far is this little brown bug. They're wicked little lures, just imitating stuff that's falling off trees, really. Sort of slugs, bees, anything like that. And they get um, pretty imaginative, <laughs> like little ladybird colours. I think this one here is a little, little wasp colour, a little bright one. So you mix it up throughout the day, try it. but. You know, I went straight away with the brown one just off my limited knowledge and Ben said straight away that that's the one that he likes. And then we have got a couple of different options. We've got a couple of little hornets here as well. One slightly shallower dive and one a bit deeper. And if we get to a stretch later that perhaps we can't see quite as much, a little bit deeper, we might use the crankbait and see if we can catch one that way. But really simple. The best thing about it is you travel so light, you've got you know, your mat, your net, your rucksack. That's pretty much all you need and then you've got to just find the fish. It's as simple as that. Hey, you told me not to bring the waders. Well, that's because I didn't have any either. So... All right, you're doing first then. Really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh no, if I get this wrong now, it's going to be embarrassing. We're over. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll wade boy. Well, we've just 
just been pretty much all the way downstream. We've tried a few really lightly looking areas, but nothing for the efforts. And you know, places that Ben's caught from before, so you'd expect Chubb to be there. But we think we're coming up with a little bit of pattern because working on the way back, looking at a few of the areas we've fished, we've seen Chubb on the shallow areas. So there's a few scattered along the stretch, and that's the only place we've seen them. So just over to my right, there's another little area where I've seen a few Chubb. So hopefully I can whip down there and see if that little bug tweaked over their head won't tempt them into grabbing it. <laughs> I watched him come up and get it. <laughs> that was quality. That was quality. I literally watched him come up and get it. I'm going to need you to do the netting on us. Nice fish. He, good one. he smashed that. He yeah, so watched him come, watched wow. him come up and stalk it, and he just smashed it from under that tree. That's one today. Whew. Well, that was so good. I cast that little salmo bug just in the overhand canopy, and I watched this fish turn, and he came up so slowly. I thought, is he going to take it? And then he absolutely smashed it, and that lure is completely engulfed in its mouth so if anyone's ever wondered do these fish come up and hit lures i think that is all the proof you need he's got the whole thing and he was not letting that get past him that is wicked that's one of the best bits of sort of visual stalking i've done for absolutely ages but i'm going to get this one slip back don't like to keep him out too long certainly in the summer it's not good so we'll get him back and for me that's mission accomplished this sun's up but Got a couple of swims to try on the way back to the car, so we'll do that now. Go on, buddy. Nice. Well, three fish in a morning, we cannot complain about that. Uh, to be honest, I would have took one when we first came out, just to try and get one on the scorecard, but I think you get a bit greedy, don't you? You're trying to fish away and conditions aren't the best to be honest it's the sun's really come up and we've actually split up now so i've left ben fishing away we're going to try and work our way back to the car and just see if we can nick one more bite before we we head off but just for these little bugs we've been using today they're really simple to fit all you're trying to imitate is something that's fell off the tree like a slug anything like that a bee and the chub basically hear the plop and they come up and smash it so try and sort of Plop them in from a height if you can, get that plop, then working them back, it's just a little twitch and retrieve, just so it makes a little rattle and a bounce on the surface. And they, they certainly haven't been shy of hitting them this morning. So I think this swim is probably done. Three or four casts in each is all you need. So I'm gonna keep plunging away back to the car, see if we can't just have one more. You brought your friends with you? I love it, he just booted you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <can see> that <laughs> made a great thumbnail. <laughs> I broke my leg of a horse, it'd be a great thumbnail. Oh, some car accident. What are you doing? Whoa! Yes! Jesus Christ, it just... I'm going to have to go down after this, I think. <laughs> I was looking behind me. Well, there we go. We... Oh, no. It's come off. Oh, it's come off. Oh. 
Well, I had to give it some to try and get them out of them snags, and it's, no. it's come off. Well, there's a bit of footage you can use, and... <laughs> to be fair, they are small trebles on that. And they aren't bent out, though. That was a good fish, I think. Yeah, it sounded, I think it was a good fish. I mean, I've got the take on, on the GoPro. Yeah. Ah. Never mind. Can't win them all. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to sign off with that last fish. Unfortunately, Ben lost one under bridge. Really go for you, mate. It looked like a nice fish as well. And then a little tiny aborted a take as well but we have left the most ridiculous jungle swim till the end stinging it was a way taller than me probably like eight foot tall as a one last effort but a few casts in here and it hasn't looked good so it's been better than expected you know to land three fish and for me you know a personal best on lures first time i've done it can't go more wrong than that so we're going to sign off here i do hope that you've enjoyed it obviously ben huge thanks for no bringing worries. us out it's been nice to be fishing with you and obviously, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, we're going to head off home and we'll see you again 